So this this is our second server, and we want to promote this server to a do, to our secondary domain controller. So what I did is I have to, I've already added the Active Directory domain service future to this device. You can see there's a DC02, and this is actually the DC01, which, which has already been promoted to become our global catalog and also our domain controller, that's the primary domain controller. So if I go back again to my DC02, after the installation process completed for the Active Directory domain service, so what, what we need to do is to click promote the server to a domain controller and in our previous for the first domain controller what we did is, did is we add a new forest for this we're going to be adding a domain controller to an existing domain and that domain is kevglobal.com and now we need to actually supply the credentials for this operation so just click change and enter kev global then administrator enter the password and then click OK. Now we need to select next. So it's going to verify the domain. And you can see it says supply domain control capabilities and site information. Well, this secondary domain controller as well also will contain our DNS because we want to create a kind of a replication. Uh, also, our secondary DNS server. And it's going to be as also a global catalog. So when the first server um, is shut down, so our second server can actually also perform the role of the DNS server and also the global catalog and now you can see we can actually decide decided to add this server to become a read only domain controller which means that the server will only read information you will not be able to edit this server or edit information in this server so we're going to actually not check the read only domain controller because we want to be allow we want to allow the server to become a fully functional server so now let's enter the password and then click next so this error just ignore this warning message it's not an error it's just a warning message so let's just ignore that and then click next and here you can see replicate from any domain controller we can also replicate from dc01 so let me just leave it from any domain controller and then click next and here you can see the lock part you just leave it and just click next and we can now review our configuration and then click next so it's going to check if everything is completed if uh, if the information you provide is not completed you're going to receive an error message but the prerequisite check was passed successfully so now let's just click install and let's wait for this installation to complete and we can come back again and log on to our device as it do in a domain environment so you can see that the installation just got completed and our device need to restart so let me just click close but the device is going to restart anyway you can see it's now restarting and after restarting we can now log on to, to our device in a, as a domain as kelf global administrator so after restarting our device now you can see we cannot log on to this device as administrator but to the domain kelf global so let me just log on to this device and if I go to my DC01, let me just go to my DC01 and then open Active Directory Users and Computers. And if everything went well, we're supposed to be seeing on a domain controller. Now we can see we now have two domain controller and they are both global catalog. And here you can see the site is the default first site name. So that's the first domain controller, which is this device. And that's the second one, which is the device I just log on. Two. so you can see our account our profile is being created at the moment so that is how you actually promote a second server to become a secondary domain controller you can see i'm using a windows server 2002 data center evaluation and the first domain controller is actually a windows server 2019